Hey, what's going on, guys? Nick at Night here. Today, I've got a friend on the line to teach me some bowler attacks. He's been mentioned before. Today, Ashland himself. What's up, Clash with Ash? Nick at Night. What is Woo! up, man? Pleasure to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. We were on a few different uh, trips to Supercell's office in Finland together, but never really on the channel in the flesh and blood, well, on, on the call. But uh, it's great to have you here, and we get to learn some tips about bowlers. Yeah, man, it's great to be here. And uh, like you said, good times in Finland, but it's a pleasure to finally, uh, you know, be on, uh, be, do a little collab together. Yeah, so since the last update, I was like, I need to go watch some of Ash's videos because <laughs> we need to get the strategy done. But now we have you here, and we've been attacking your base just for the past couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see how you basically gave me this composition, this troop composition, and then critiqued, I guess, my attacks. Yeah, and then it, you, you're a fast learner, man. I mean, you <laughs> might be practicing behind the scenes, I think, after these attacks. But... Uh, I, I don't never know. I may have like three <laughs> iPads right here. But we're going to take you guys through, and we're going to start off with the very first attack, where is it? Right here, that I had, just knowing the troop composition and the entry point. So I'm gonna turn that on right now. All right. So, um, I feel like on these, I mean, I could say what I'm thinking, but you could more yeah, sure. say what uh, well, was going gave, through your head. Yeah, well, just a word on the troop composition here. You didn't really want to start off with queen walks right off the bat or bowler walks. So yeah. this is kind of more of a classic. Uh, well, I shouldn't say classic because it's relatively <laughs> new that they're this viable. But yeah. it, it, this is kind of like a more spammy mass bowler attack. But in order to have a shot at three stars, you still need to get the fundamentals down. So this is your first shot at the base going in kind of blind. So yeah. It was basically, I knew the clan castle goes in front of the troops because there's a golem in there. I The spells in the general placement of where they should go, but uh, right there I did miss a double freeze. Uh, but it just falls apart. Clearly there was room for improvement. Yeah, so what was your major, uh, you know, going into this attack for the first time you attacked the base, what was your thought process like? Uh, did you have questions on to where to attack the base from or... Um, see, I normally pick a corner, and then you were saying that the the flat entry point on the northwest there would actually be better. So I had them uh, not wide enough, right? The yeah, bowlers. I mean, I think it was just basically where you pl place the jump spell, and then from there mm. on out, things got kind of wacky because a lot of the troops... The, the one thing about bowlers is it's so hard to predict their AI, so you just need to make sure that you get most of them to the core, and then you're pretty golden, so... Yeah, that was kind of all over the place. Also, the warden was in the air, I think, for the first two <laughs> attacks. So I'm going to go to back to home. Um, that one's over. We're going to pull up the second replay, which was a little better, and I'm going to start that one right now. All right, we are in. Yeah, so this time you put the jump spell uh, in a better location because that yeah. way everything funnels perfectly right to the core of the base. And with this strategy, it's really easy. And you can see you got much better at the deployment here. It's really, You need to yeah. be really fast on those bowlers. And mm -hmm. then the healers right afterwards, the healers are, should be a little bit spread out so they're healing all those bowlers. And then okay. your heroes are you know, beautifully going to the core of the base and everything's looking much better on this replay. Yeah, so, yeah, so that first one was just uh, a test. And then this one, besides the warden not a part of the attack right now, which we fixed in the next one, yeah. uh, this one was about placement. And now it was all about the timing. So I had maybe, well, my warden wasn't there to even use his ability. The king's ability versus when the rage spells down, uh, the free spell, the queen's ability, that's where you were saying the jump spells are pretty lenient. I had those down since the beginning, but I had a, a rotation of spells and abilities that needed to be tweaked, right? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the big keys to this a type of attack, any kind of bowler attack really, is to make sure you have the, the hero abilities and the spells in the best, the optimal order, right? So yeah. what you want to do and what you start to do, I think, the next attack is... Yeah. You want to pull that both? one up, and you could uh, yeah, sure. you could give your uh, your progression through that one, yeah. Uh, third attack, ready now. All right. So on this time, you're going to drop both of your jump spells right off the bat there. So with jump spells at Town Hall 10 and 11, they last so long, especially in bowler attacks, that you can drop them right off the bat, so you don't have to worry about them mid-raid. Okay. And, and then as far as the abilities and the rest of the spells go, you want to make sure that you go ahead and pop your Iron Fist ability on the Barbarian King and then drop your first Rage spell, and then immediately afterwards uh, use the Eternal Tome ability on your Grand Warden, and then okay. you use the second Rage, and then you use the uh, Freeze spell on the Inferno Towers. So you can see if the Queen didn't go around here, you would have definitely had the 3-star. Huh. Yeah, I guess uh, 
That did make quite a difference. She's nowhere near the battle, but yeah, I mean, you could just see the destruction is a straight line across versus before I was kind of like carving out pockets in the base. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys really wreck if you get them right. So from here, we needed to get the queen in the battle and yeah. we had the progression of the spells and abilities more or less uh, down and then I don't think there was anything wrong with the placements besides the queen messing up, but... Now the yeah, the queen, did, the queen didn't do a bad job, but having her in the core would have quickly taken down those Inferno Towers and the Eagle mm. Artillery and just made you move through the base faster. I mean, the thing with the strategy is, is just getting all your troops and all your spells on the map as soon as possible, and then, you know, basically trying to do all your, as most of your damage in, in terms of getting to that core in the first, you know, minute of the raid or, or less. Yeah. Um, so this is a good one, man. That, yeah, that was close. That expo, though, never uh, the unrelenting expo. Should we uh, try one more for three yes. uh, star live? Yes, absolutely. So, okay. do you want to change your entry point this time, or do you want to use the same one, or because um, I? What do you think? Well, uh, whatever you want to do here, I'm gonna go ahead and issue the friendly challenge. Okay, let me go down here and <laughs> attack. Um, all right, we're going to pick a new point, see if our progression and everything works live yeah, so use here. both of your jump spells again right off the bat. Okay. Boom, boom. And then Clan Castle. Bowlers. Yeah, make sure you have a nice little spread on the bowlers there. Uh, Kind of tight on my bowlers, but yeah. we uh, It looks see. like you lost a few of them going, uh, going west, but the rest went to the middle, so that's not too bad. Mm. And then there you go. So the Eternal Tome right now. Yeah, that's up and running. I, uh, I feel like it could be a little better. It's okay. Get little your better. second rage. Okay, second rage. Now get your uh, freeze. Perfect. Okay. All right. We got the rage. Freeze up. Queen, come back. Come back. <laughs> uh, she might. Uh, maybe she will. I don't know. There we go. Get the Inferno Tower down. You got that down. Okay. Things are looking pretty good here for you. Okay. Decent amount of bowlers. The healers are on the warden. Queen's over. Everybody's kind of getting wall. hung up on a wall right now. <laughs> yeah. A lot of walls. Not that much time. I mean, the king's still oh, yeah, alive. Plenty of time. Cool. Plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of where's your where's your queen? She's over on the wall. Oh my right. god! <laughs> just loving that junction. I don't oh, know. Oh, she is just having the time of her life over there. She went in, and the jump spell <laughs> ran out, so she's just hanging out there. I like your level one wall, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Aesthetically, I thought it was very pleasing. Yeah. Uh, just... So actually, you're not looking. To, you still have the queen's ability, and those healers are kind of just. Just chilling. Out. Yeah, I mean, the warden's just sitting there at full health. <laughs> I know. So and I have to pop the queen's ability. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Once she's maybe on the cannon? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, cannon can see her. You have some time. Plenty of time. Oh, wow. That was good. Maybe, I mean, if the healers would switch targets, this might work. Yeah, I have like a 30 second delay. Or not 30 second. Maybe like a 10 second delay because you're live and I'm watching. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh oh. Well, the warden's down, but that means that the healers are going to go to the queen. Ah! Uh, okay. Oh man, this is a this is the this most intense friendly <laughs> challenge ever. This is like it's crazy. yeah. Okay, so queen is at on my end. The queen is now nearing full health. Yeah. Well, wow. yeah. On my end, we just took down the cannon, baby. Yeah. Holy buddy. cow! Look at this. This. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it now, definitely. That is not the most traditional, but hey, it worked. <laughs> Nick, it's just Good. like we planned it, my friend. Yeah. There we go. Shoot it over the wall. Yes. Plenty of wow. time. No it's big almost, deal. <laughs> it's almost like it was planned. It's. But you guys, literally, three attacks later, fixing one thing that Ash was saying each time, and we went from zero to that. How how crazy is that? That's awesome. I, mean, I think you're getting really close to being ready for a bowler walk too. Really. I hmm. think so. Do you want what to try I... once, or are we? Yeah, I could try once. Right, what would I what change? We'll You're gonna do the same exact attack, but this time, we're, I'll tell you. Just go ahead and click on. I'll tell you exactly where to put the put the uh, bowlers. Okay. So put the bowlers. You're gonna have the same jump spell locations, ex exactly the same. This time, put on your the bottom, bowlers. On the bottom ones. Uh, what's that? The northwest or the bottom entry? No, the bottom one. The, the like the last raid. Okay. And then what you want to do is put your bowlers. See that elixir pump that is in the uh, the southwest? Yeah. Uh, near next to the dark elixir pump. Yeah. Uh, Drill, like closer rather? to the left side of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So put your bowlers kind of where that flower patch is. Okay. Uh, put five of them down there, and then put four healers behind them. All right. Do I start with jumps? Nope. No jumps yet. Oh. So five bowlers, and then four healers 
uh, behind them. Bowler walk. Uh, was that a little too far right? South. Yeah, I was talking yeah, about south. the other uh, dark elixir uh, pump, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the other elixir pump, but that's going to be fine because what these bowlers are going to do is they're going to move south anyway, so now you can put your jump spells down. Okay. So you're kind of losing a start few of the Start the bowlers. regular attack? What's that? Just start the regular attack Yeah, start now? the regular attack now. But the idea here, well, you lost your bowlers, so... It's okay, but you still might pull it off. But the idea here is if you start a bowler walk like that a little bit more towards like 9 o'clock, then you can clear out that whole compartment going in, and there's less of a chance for your troops to go any opposite way. Hmm. Interesting. So you see how all those bowlers diverted back towards the center there? I'm not sure if you caught that. But use your warden ability. Yeah, I just popped it now. Okay. It was a little late, actually. But, uh, okay, yeah, see how there's a lot of bowlers in the center now. Yeah. Uh, that, that one inferno tower, you, though, you just missed. So, yeah, I think this one's still... not as clutch as the last one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bowler walk. I thought you'd like to queen walk to start. I do, but against bases like this, I actually prefer bowler walk. You're still going to get a, a decent, two, a high percentage two star, huh. uh, because on a base like this, these outer compartments, you can see the one that's left up in like the north uh, east. Yeah, they're. They have the uh, the bowlers can clear two units deep, so they can basically clear out the entire compartment by themselves. The bowlers. Oh, that so makes what sense. it does is it helps with the funneling. If it was a normal base or like an anti three star base, or you know nine times out of ten you'll just use your queen instead of the bowlers. But the bowlers can dig a little bit deeper into the base, and huh. if it wasn't a bad that bad of attack, you can you're still going. You know, fairly yeah. strong. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would still keep going here a little bit longer. But uh, do you want to try? Do you have this comp by any chance loaded up? You could attack mine. Uh, I can definitely gem it up real quick. All right. Yeah, I'll just let this play out, and then let me know when you're ready, and I'll uh, I'll want send me to a use challenge. The same exact comp. You want me to throw something else in there? Some... Oh, show us something spicy. All right, let's do some. I'm gonna do minor clone, and we'll Ooh. see. We'll see and how then we maybe do. if you guys are interested, uh, while Ash is building that up, if you like this meth or like format, which I really do uh, better for the next Clash episode, uh, maybe we can learn some minor action, minor clone. We'll see. Let me know uh, down in the comments below for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Uh, okay, so I think I have a decent army. I haven't seen your base, but we're going to wing it. Okay, guys, if you want to check out my attack, go ahead and check out Nick at Night's channel. Uh, he posted this video on his as well. And fast forward to about the 15 minute mark or so, my device actually died when right when I was about to go into his base. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these type of collaborations, let me know, and I'll do more with other YouTubers. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care.